Right, so in my last video I said I would show you what this thing was all about and how and why I used it basically. I used it as an ignition system for a potato cannon and I used these two outputs just to run it as opposed to using all four but at the time it was all glued together I've glued the wires in which means I can't run it as four outputs and I don't really want to ruin it because I still use it for the purpose it was built but basically all I've done is a normal standard strobe light as you can see it cost about 12 quid or something like that and Basically, everything is wired up exactly the same as it was when it was a strobe, except this red wire here, which used to go to this end of the bulb. You'll notice that this is a triode bulb, which means there's three connections to it, has been split and goes to two terminals on there, which I've bolted through, but I used the chocolate block connectors just to connect my coil to it. So basically, took a, the wire that would go from there to the bulb, took that to one of the terminals here, took the bulb wire there to another terminal, and you can see both of those there. Run it through an ignition coil, and yes, although some of the power will be wasted through the strobe lighting up, it was a quick and simple way to make my cannon fire every time. So, this is how it works. Hopefully you'll be able to see it spark every time the strobe light goes. And I can make that rate go up as well. By using the controller here, then you better hear that. We'll see the spark. So, there, that is why, and that is how I run my coil and my potato cannon.